All right, update night. Let's take a look at these refines, huh? I think we're all eager to see what this man can do. As am I. But I'm going to leave the ones I'm most excited for for the end. So first, let's giddy up and see what these guys got. So we'll look at Itsuki first. Mirage Falchion. So, the original Mirage Falchion. Uh, effective against dragons, 3 defense. Um, if you initiate combat, grants bonus to units attack and defense during combat equal to 3, plus number of allies who have already acted times 2 for a maximum value of 7. If foe initiates combat, grants bonus to units attack and defense during combat equal to 7, minus number of foes who have already acted times 2, minimum value of 3. Okay, so he has like a... There's no, there's no sh uh, session effect for attack and defense, but it's basically like a shield-ish session with attack instead of res, I guess. Okay, so that's cool. Um, so Mirage Falchion. Uh, effective as dragons, three defense. If unit initiates combat, grants X all stats to unit during combat. X is equal to four, plus number of allies who have already acted times three for a maximum of ten. So it's the same as a, a blade blade session, just you need two allies to have already acted to get the maximum stats. So that's pretty sweet. Ten all stats, there you go. If foe initiates combat, grants X all stats to unit during combat, X is equal to ten minus the number of foes who have already acted at times three for a minimum value of four. Restores seven HP to unit after combat. It's pretty good. You know, he's got a buff to his uh, session ability. It's ten all stats now instead of like a minimum of seven or whatever. Got a little bit of healing as well. Alright, the refined portion. If a unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants four all stats to unit, unit makes guaranteed follow-up attack, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30% during combat. You know, it's fine, it's cute. He's, he is, you know, he's just a stat ball with a little bit of healing and some DR. It's a follow-up. Eh, you know, whatever. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to get anything super broken. Alright, let's take a look at Hell. Already got her remixed skill on. Not feeling distant pressure on her, just because that kind of counterproductive to the way you play her. So I'm just going to keep distant count counter on her for now. They should have just given her, like, distant stance or distant dart. I don't know why they gave her distant pressure. That's a weird option. Okay, so Hell's Reaper. Maybe this will make pressure make sense. Maybe she just has... Maybe she gives herself, like, unguard or something, and the, the recoil damage just doesn't matter. Let's have a look. <laughs> Uh, so Hell's Reaper, before Refine, <laughs> sorry, special trigger, neutralizes effect against flying bonuses. If Foe does not use magic or staff, calculates damage using Foe's resistance. And if unit's HP is greater than 1 and Foe would reduce it to 0. Okay, so she has like adaptive damage kind of with Miracle Effect. Now, the Refine... Sorry, special trigger neutralizes flying bonuses. If foe does not use magic or staff, calculates damage using foe's res. And also, if unit's HP is greater than one, and foe would reduce uh, unit's HP to zero during combat, unit survives with one HP. If foe initiates combat, or if foe's HP is above half at start of combat, grants four all stats to unit during combat, and restores seven HP to unit after combat. So just the base weapon alone gives her a little self-sustain there. <laughs> So she's only going to take, so I guess she gets two healing from pressure, because the recoil takes five away from that. So I guess that's fine, because then she gets the five speed when she initiates as well, but she's more of an enemy phase unit, in my opinion. Let's see what the refine does. At start of combat, if unit's HP is above a quarter, or a penalty is active on foe, grants four all stats a unit, deals damage equal to 20% of unit's speed, uh included with AoEs, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat. That's it. Man, we got the... Oh, man, did we get the bad team working on refines this update? That does not make me hopeful for the CYLs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because this is... That's it? That's all she got? Seven healing, eight all stats... I mean, the 20% damage based on speed is pretty good, but, like, that aside, everything else is kind of monka-esque. 
The 40% damage reduction on first hit is cool, I guess. It opens up her beast laws. So you don't necessarily need her on guard bearing anymore. Although guard bearing four is like fly melee flyer's best beast lot. But like I suppose you could put like I don't know. You could put Ether on her with Gambit now, I suppose. Gambit would be a pretty cool skill to put on her. Um and then she would have like 35 true damage based on her speed, which is kinda nuts. As well as uh, 50% 50 DR. Well, 40% because she has a uh, special Excel. Hmm, that's not bad. You definitely run Gambit on her. Guard Bearing 4 may be a little bit better than that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Come to think of it, it's not that bad. All right. Um, I'll probably just hold off on doing that until I need to use her as a bonus unit, I suppose. <laughs> Mirabilis! Let's see what her refine does. I use Mirabilis on my, my new my new defense, so hopefully this is not bad. Her original weapon is just 3 res. If penalty is active on any foes within 3 columns centered on unit, inflicts minus 3 attack dev res on those foes during combat. And then, of course, her whimsical dream inflicts an attack debuff, so this is relevant. But let's see what the refine portion is. Well, or just what what's the base effect change to now? If penalty is active on any foes within three columns centered on unit, inflicts four now on attack dev res on those foes during combat. At start of combat, if unit's HP is above three quarters or penalty is active on a foe, inflicts attack dev minus five on bow during combat. Right. I really don't like it when they give like offensive capabilities to these support units. Like she's a dancer, she doesn't need offensive effects just let her support better god i hate when they do that <sighs> but i digress the refine portion is at start of combat if you use hp above quarter inflicts another attack dev minus five on foe and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack during combat and also after combat if unit attacked inflicts status on foes within three columns centered on unit preventing counterattacks through their next actions <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't like that refine for Mirabilis. Like, I know there are like some defenses out there where, where people kind of have her built as like a pseudo offensive, you know, like, but her purpose is to dance. If she's not dancing, then why have her on your defense, right? So, I would probably just refine this for like <laughs> extra res, probably. I don't know. I probably don't even refine it at all. Because yeah, refine's like a nut. This refine doesn't matter. Like, you want her to dance. Her refine should do something off of a dance. You don't want your your dancers to attack in in your ARDs. This is this is a bad refine. I do not like this. That's really bad. God, I hate that. Why do they do that? That's so dumb. I mean, look, I get it. Sometimes you're, sometimes the AI just chooses to attack anyways. But like a dancer, don't have they don't have much survivability. Usually they just die, right? I know this this is kind of hypercritical because I have you know sturdy impact on her, but yeah, I guess as a backup, the refine isn't horrendous because again sometimes your dancer just doesn't dance but I still don't like it that much I, I might reluctantly get it just because the base effect is better but ugh, not a huge fan of that but again I digress all right moving into the meat and potato meat and potatoes of it all I'll save gatekeeper for last I literally plus 10 this dumbass because I was anticipating him getting a good refine. That's how dumb of a whale I am. Let's take a look at Marianne first because she's probably the one I'm least interested in. I don't really use her that much these days, but maybe her refine will change that. Let's see. Actually, I want to see something. I doubt it, but I want to see if... This is the year they update their PRF abilities. It is not. 
All right. Phantasm Toad. So let's just remind ourselves what the base effect is. The base effect is plus three speed. Start of combat, if foe's HP is above a half, inflicts minus six de uh, speed res and neutralizes foe's bonuses to speed res during combat and also if unit initiates combat, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 70%. Very nice. Let's see if they changed that base effect. It looks like they did. Um, yo. They're giving her special excel on top of the plus three speed. They've never done that before. That's awesome. I mean, they've done that with like... Um, what's her name? Mythic Thrasir. They've done it with her. But the special excel was put into her refine portion. They've never put, put something on top of stats in the base form. That's really cool that they did that, because she really needed it. So now she has Special Excel, which is awesome, on top of the plus three speed. If unit initiates combat or foe's HP is above half, at start of combat, inflicts minus six speed res on foe, neutralizes foe's bonuses to speed and res, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by X percent during combat. If unit initiates combat, X is equal to 80, otherwise X is equal to 30. That's pretty nice. Dude, just the base effect alone is a nice upgrade. That's awesome, actually. Wow. So she has, like, a falling star when she initiates. And then having 30% on top of that for, like, enemy phase. Not that you want her to enemy phase, but, like, she kind of can now. Like, Yuri, for example, right? Since Yuri has, like, 30% innate DR, and he has insane speed, he can enemy phase nukes, kind of. Like, I use him to enemy phase uh, Legend Veronica sometimes because of that. So this lets Marianne do that kind of as well. Because her speed is also quite good. So now let's look at, at the refine portion. Start of combat, unit's HP is above a quarter. Grants 5 all stats to unit. Deals damage equal to 20% of unit speed. That's really good. Uh, reduces the percentage of foes non-special. Reduce damage by X percent skills by 50%. And neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X. Oh my god, her refine is actually perfect for her. The tempo is perfect. So now you can run Flashing's Blade on her. And she will get Requiem Dance as long as she's faster than her foe. She has... Uh, she ignores half DR. Dude, that's so cool they gave her that. Because like... Uh, you could put magic NFU in her B slot now because she does need NFU, and then she gets um, seventy. Per she ignores seventy five percent DR, the same as Bramimon. That's pretty sweet. Well, I say it, it's because I have magic NFU on my Bramimon. So with Bramimon's remix and magic NFU, you get seventy five percent DR, uh, ignoring. So you could do that with Marianne as well. Wow, she got an, a very very good refine. I'm not going to refine it just yet, because I, like I said, I don't use her that much these days, but I, the only time I really use Marianne anymore is uh, in my Gale Force team for uh, Chaos Season in Ether Raids, but, so, maybe I'll, I'll refine it the next Chaos Season. Nah, you know what, I'm not going to be a coward, let's just do it right now. This is nuts. This is this is a really good refine. Yeah. Because there's no way I'm not going to not use her on Chaos Season. That's just too good. Let's go. What a refine. God damn. What a strong start. Holy shit. Look at that. Minus. Now Record Dance is 2. Times Pulse. Dude, Soren is like perfect fodder for her now. Just give her a uh, Magic NFU with Times Pulse 4. It's pretty good. And then you just put Flashing Blade in your seal slot. You're good to go. Damn, what a refine. Okay, strong start. Let's see what they gave Marth. Now, I did get Marth's Forma. Um... Unfortunately, Close Call 4 did not appear. I would have preferred that, but he does have Repel. Times Pulse 4. Attack Speed Finish. Fortunately, I did get that. 
And uh, he does have godlike reflexes. I opted for that instead of Vital Astro because there's no scenario in which I would use Vital Astro over Shining Emblem. So I figured I'd just go with godlike reflexes. And yeah, let's see. Now, Genesis Falchion does a lot. So let's just remind ourselves what that does. Special Excel, effective versus dragons. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants five all stats during combat, and also grants effects based on the total value of bonuses on the three allies with the highest bonus totals. If greater than or equal to 10, neutralizes effects, guarantees flows follow up attacks, and effects that prevents units follow up attacks during combat. Greater or equal to 25, grants an additional 5 attack during combat, and also, if unit deals damage to foe during combat, restores 5 HP to unit. If more than 60 or equal to 60, if foe initiates combat, unit can counterattack before foe's first attack. Now, basically, you would need plus 5 all stats on 3 allies? No, that would only be 45. How do you get 60? Highest total bonuses on three allies with the highest total bonuses if you have if you have six all stats oh no no five all stats is enough right because that'd be 20 times three at 60 yeah, yeah, yeah five all stats is enough so you need your three hours have five all stats in shining emblem grants unit six all stats for one turn and grants allies within two spaces of unit six attack for one turn then, after combat, if you trigger uh, special triggers, grant six all stats to unit and allies for one turn. So if he triggers his Shining Emblem, the entirety of his weapon is active. So let's see what... Let's see if they change the base effect. So, special excel, factory versus dragons. If unit initiates combat within two spaces of an ally, five all stats during combat, and grants effects to unit based on the total value of bonuses on the three allies with the highest bonuses total. If greater than equal to 10, and if you, that's still the same. And effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Oh, wow. So, right off the cuff, he gets uh, tempo for himself just at the 10 baseline. That's already a really good buff. Um, if above 25... Grants an additional 5 attacks during combat, and also if unit deals damage to foe during combat, restores 7 HP to unit. So that got buffed from 5 to 7, that's really amazing. So now, um, instead of having no healing with Distant Pressure, you get 2 healing, same as with Hell, although you would really want to just put Attack Speed Solo on him at, the, at this point, if you're going to use him that way. Um, and then 60... Uh, and foe initiates combat, unit counterattack before foe's first attack. So that's the same, just vantage. So the base effect got a nice little buff. It, it got added to tempo and a little more healing. It's pretty good, not bad. Refine portion. At start of combat, if unit's HP is above a quarter, grants X all stats to unit. X is equal to 5 plus highest bonus on each stat between unit and allies within two spaces of unit. Calculates each stat bonus independently. Wow, he could get... Plus 11 all stats. That's pretty sweet. So he gets plus 16 all stats from the base of, from the base plus 5 all, and then this. That's pretty solid. And reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat. Mm, okay, that's a modest upgrade. So he's basically just a ball of stats at this point, which is not a bad thing, but... It's not amazing... I would say he's more or less a better version of Byleth now. Because he's got that tempo for himself. He's got NFU. He's got healing. He's got stats. He's got DR. He's got Vantage. I mean, what else do you need? This is... So Brave Marth now is like a, just a better base Byleth. Which is unfortunate, but such that it is. I think if you put... Um, Null C Disrupt 4 in his B slot. Or even just Null, Dis Null Disrupt 3. That makes him a very powerful Omni tank for Aether Raid's offense. That is not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, I don't use Marth. 
but if he pops up as a bonus unit, like say, again, Chaos, if he's, whenever he's a bonus unit in Chaos Season, like, I don't know, uh, version 5 bonus or whatever, whenever that's active, I'll refine him and use him as an Omni Tank in place of Byleth, I suppose. I have some Null Disrupt 3 fodder I can give him, but I'm not going to give him Null C Dis Disrupt 4 right now because that's quite expensive and I don't have a whole lot of that to pass around. But yeah, that's pretty solid. Next up, my girl Erica. I recently plus 10 her um, when we had those hero fests way back when. Ah, a little bit of water starting to get parched. Enough mischief, Ephraim. This is a lot of talking. Oh, it's you, Summoner. My apologies. All right, so the Moonlight Bangle is um, full tempo, I believe, right? Or it's just tempo for herself. For herself, it gives her Canto too. Uh, tempo for herself, and deals damage to the foe's defense when special triggers. X is equal to units max special cooldown count value times 10 plus 20. And then every special is like a moonbow plus whatever else it has. So Luna becomes like Black Luna, basically, <laughs> with Moonlight Bangle. Yeah, Moonlight Bangle is like holds up even to this day. All right. Eureka. So, Binding Ragonleaf. <sighs> Effective against armored f and cavalry foes with the special Excel. Uh, start of combat. If you want to take a quarter, grants five all stats during combat, reduces damage from foes' first attack by 30%, and also, if unit initiates combat, neutralizes effects to prevent units' follow up attacks. Okay. So, it's a pretty cut and dry weapon. It's got uh, effective damage, DR. Stats, and half NFU. Now, let's see what they gave her. There's a cube in that icon. Interesting. First of all, again, let's see if they change the base effect. Uh, looks like the only thing they changed in the base effect is they increased her DR from 30 to 40, so that's nice. Oh! She no longer has to initiate to get NFU. Now she, even on enemy phase, she has uh, NFU for herself. That's really good. I think, right? At start of combat, yeah, she doesn't have to initiate anymore. That's that's a nice, that's a cute little upgrade for her base effect. The refine portion. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, another 5 all stats to unit, inflicts attack speed defense minus X on foe. X is equal to 5 plus number of bonus effects active on foe, max of 9, excluding stat bonuses. Neutralizes foe's bonuses to attack speed and dev. And neutralizes effects that, that guarantee foe follow-up attacks during combat. Okay, that's interesting. So they basically just gave her a lull 4 as a refine. Hmm. Except it's a little bit better than a lull 4 because I believe the cap on those is 8 and she has a cap of 9. It's not bad. I guess she also has a baseline of 5 instead of 4, so it's a little bit better than... It's like a lull 4.5. Hmm. I was hoping for something a little more creative than this, but I guess it's fine. It's not bad. She has full NFU now. So she has full NFU, uh, super lull. That's kind of it. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed with Erica. I was, I was hoping she'd get a little bit more than this, but... It's certainly not bad. It's certainly not bad. Okay. Moving on. To the one. Oh, God. Please be good. Please be good. <sighs> okay. All right, all right. So, again, reminding ourselves of the base effect. Plus three defense. Grants 5 attack and speed to allies within 3 rows or 3 columns centered on unit during combat. 
the following effects will occur based on the number of allies within three rows or three columns centered on unit. If greater than or equal to one, inflicts attack res minus X on foe during combat, except to the number of allies in the area times two for a max of minus six. If greater than or equal to three allies, foe cannot make a follow-up attack. And then if units within two spaces of a structure that a foe can destroy, that number of allies in the area is treated as three. And I believe that's only applicable to air defense. I mean, it can be applicable to AR offense, but that'd be really hard. The, the foe would have to be right up in your face. Alright, so. Here we go. Base effect. What did this change to? Grants attacks B plus 5 to allies within 3 rows or 3 columns centered on unit during their combat. So that's the same. The following effects will occur during units combat based on the number of allies within three rows three columns centered on unit if greater than or equal to one inflicts attack res minus x on foe x is equal to the number of allies in the area times three for a max of nine okay if greater than or equal to two inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack okay so he's got guard now and if greater than or equal to three foe cannot make a follow-up attack all right so there you go if you use within two spaces of a structure that can that the foe can destroy, this number of allies in the area is treated as three. All right, so he got a little bit better debuff on foe. It's nine attack res now instead of six. He got guard as well. So not a big change to the base weapon, which leaves a lot to be desired. Oh god, that's not a lot of text. Let's see. <laughs> Grants 5 defense and res to allies within 3 rows or 3 columns centered on unit during their combat. And restores 7 HP to those allies after their combat. <sighs> that alone is kind of good. That alone uh, makes them insane. Like, Well, not insane, but that alone. Like giving 5 all stats during combat and 7 healing. That makes them very good support for Omni tanks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, at start of combat, if unit HP is above a quarter, inflicts attack res minus 6 on foe and reduces damage from foe's attacks by 20% of unit's defense. That's what I was looking for, baby! Let's go! And also restore 7 HP to unit after combat. Alright, that's what I was hoping they would give him. He is a veritable green New Year asker. That's awesome. That That's exactly what I was hoping they would give him. Perfect. And, on top of that, he gets plus 5 all stats to units in front of him, as well as 7 healing. This is a very solid support for Omni Tanks now. That's I'm pretty satisfied with that, honestly. I know a lot of people were hoping he would get something like Unguard, or like... Um, an ability that let, like, shut down warping entirely, but he does have warp bubble in his B slot, so that's probably why they didn't bother doing that. Um, but, I think you will start seeing Gatekeeper in Summoner Duels now with his Refine, just because he gives that 7 healing and 5 all stats during combat. He is, he is very good support for Omni Tanks. I will stand by that. Yeah, that is not bad at all. I might uh, update his build a little bit now because of that. I do rather enjoy this. In fact, let me see what I can do right now. All right, so here we go. Uh, so this I think will more or less be Summoner Duel's build with counter control. I had add an a spare New Year Asker from way back when that I was hanging on to because like defense res finish is such a niche. A slot, but seems pretty fitting for Gatekeeper, I think. Um, yeah, so there's not a whole lot going on here. Um, I figured Smite would be nice just because he doesn't need to be within, like, since it's column based buffs, he can be just like behind you and it's fine. And for that purpose, he has Crossbur attack as well now. Um, Crossbur speed would probably be better, but that doesn't exist yet. 
Um, he also has Seal Attack 4, which he'll probably never use. It feels a little bad. I had to fodder a Legendary Robin to him for Cam to control because that's the only source of it I had. But, eh, you know, I don't really have plans for plus 10 a Robin, so it's fine. No big deal. Plus, I do think Cam to control, he definitely needs it if you're going to use him in Summoner Duels. Um, yeah. So, there you go. Probably the Seal. I don't know. You can give him a form instead, maybe, or a tactic. I guess it'd depend on the team, right? Um, but yeah. I think Infantry Null Follow-Up is a good C skill for him as well, but again, that depends on, on who you run him with, right? Like, if I were to run him with someone like Byleth, Byleth doesn't need that, so that's why he has Crossbow Attack. That's much better. But if I were to run him with someone like Fallen Female Byleth, for example... Then I would need to give him some infantry no follow up, which I don't presently have. But I think the next time I get pity broken by someone who does have it, like a Gregor or a Scented Silico or another Fallen Maria, then I will fodder them to Gatekeeper so that he has that option. Now, another option that's good for his A slot is Defense Res Unity, which I do have, but it's on a rearmed unit, and I don't think I want to use that right now for him. I think Dead Birds finish is going to be perfectly serviceable. Unity would be better to have in Summoner Duel setting, but, you know, if you don't have it, you don't have it. And that's about it for Gatekeeper. Okay, now, as for Erica, she's kind of... I was thinking about giving her Catch or Clash, but then I talked myself out of it, because at that point, I think it's just foddering fodder for the sake of having a screenshot which is dumb because i tr i think surge sparrow is truly her best a slot because now that she has full nfu and d with with her better dr what she can do now is go in take a hit right and then now i have Reptured sky on her but honestly it's better probably just to have either moonbo or luna um so, but she has a special charge, so I'd probably give her Luna, or I mean Moonbow, right? So, what she would do is go in, charge up her Moonbow on the first hit, and then heal on the second hit, and hopefully kill her, her opponent. And then, she could likely just tank something after the fact if she can't get far enough away from the enemy lines. I do think Surge Sparrow was her best A option. Um, yeah, I, I do think that's pretty good. Um, although, actually, no, Luna, right? No, Luna is better because, yeah, no, no, that, okay, because she has tempo, because she goes in, and then the enemy hitting her would charge up her Luna. Yeah, no, Luna, Luna is her best, her best, uh, special. Surge Barrel is definitely her best A slot. And then... I put Red Feud on her just as an option because I do have quite a bit of Red Feud laying around, but I like Dev Res Smoke on her a lot. Because she can go in, do her thing, and then if there's no Canto Control, she can come back two spaces, and then that's an extra tile of movement for someone else. So yeah, I think while I am a little disappointed with her Refine, it does make her a better, like, hit-and-run nuker. Which is not bad. Like, she got full NFU, a super lull for attack speed and dev. So, yeah, it's not as bad as I thought. It, it's not bad at all. So, yeah. I think that's all. I'm not going to update Marth, because I, I don't even know if I'm going to use him that much. And he's got a fine build as it is anyway. Like I said, he's the Hall of Forms. And Marianne, I don't, it'd be cool to give her, like, Times Pulse 4, and Wings of Mercy 4 would be really amazing on her, but, and then you could just, like, use uh, NFU Sacred Seal, but, eh, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't use her enough to warrant that level of investment, I think the way she's built now is perfect, because typically she's just going to go in hit one unit 
get Requiem Dance off to dance someone else up, and then that's pretty much it. Her job is done. Typically, she only sees, like, one round of combat anyway in a successful run, right? So I think she's going to function perfectly fine as is. And that's pretty much it. Um, not really interested in building Itsuki. Hell, I'm going to wait until I need her as a, a, a bonus unit once at the end. And Mirabilis... Ugh, you know what? I will reluctantly refine her weapon. Just because she has become an integral part of my anima defense team. And the base effect is better with the refine. Even though I, you would hope that the refine portion isn't used. But yeah, so I will reluctantly do that. And that is it. That's it. That's all. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know um, who your favorite refine was. I think everyone was really hoping Gatekeeper would get an amazing refine. And I think while... It's not as amazing as people were hoping it would be. I think it's it's good for what he's going to be doing now. Like, I think Gateskeeper's role is going to be su uh, supporting Omni Tanks in both ARO and Summoner Duels. And he also has a place on AR Defense if that's where you want to put him. You just need Canto Control. And I think a lot of people, a lot of whales specifically, do have Canto Control on him. So I think, uh, yeah... I think Gatekeeper did win. Gatekeeper definitely got a good refine. Whereas everyone else was either middling or slightly disappointing. To be fair though, when it comes to CYL, CYL refines, you really got to temper your expectations. Because I was definitely in the in the camp of expecting like broken refines. And they were pretty tame for the most part, right? But I think Marianne... Okay, I think in terms of winner... I think Marianne is actually the winner because she got everything she needed and then some. Uh, Gatekeeper is a solid second place. And then Marth and Erica are kind of up in the air for third place. I'm biased for Erica, but Marth might be a little better than that. I'm not sure. Um, and then, yeah, the these the remix for Fines and Itsuki are pretty much whatever. Right? Eh, you know, I think Hell's better of those three. And then... Honestly, I would give it to Itsuki over Mirabilis just because I'm very disappointed with how her refine turned out, but it is what it is. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. We gotta let it get back, get back.